it's Rebecca with Bex Fine Art coming at you from my new studio space. I know it's been forever since I've made a YouTube video, but with moving across the country, it's kind of been a little bit crazy. Probably saw a copper walk, walking in the background. So one of my most popular videos that I've made is actually how to add resin to your tumbler or hydroflask. So I thought I would update that because the previous video I didn't have a cup turner. So I wanted to show you how I use my cup turner to add resin to my bottles. So here's the bottle we'll be adding it to. It's a custom with some wildflowers and sea otters. This is a very popular theme to do flowers and sea creatures on the bottles. So I'm gonna go over the resin I use and then just show you how to use the cup turner and hopefully that'll be helpful to some of you just starting out with this. Okay, so here is my basic setup for using the resin. So this is still my favorite resin to use for the bottles. It The brand is Countertop Epoxy. Obviously it's two parts and this is the Premium FX Epoxy. And I like this the best because I just feel like the quality is a little bit better than some of the other brands that I've used. It's a little bit thicker when you mix it up. And then it's also very durable. It can withstand up to 500 degrees and it's 100% non-toxic and food safe. So this is a really great quality resin. Um, I highly, highly recommend it. And here's some other things that you'll need. So Dixie cups for mixing the resin, or you can use little measuring cups, whatever you prefer. Popsicle sticks for stirring. This is actually a little finger glove, or you can use regular rubber gloves. You'll need a respirator. And then if you do happen to get resin on anything like a surface or your skin, rubbing alcohol works really good to get that off. Now, I'm not gonna go over all the details of mixing the resin, that's actually in my other video, so if you want those details, please go and check that right, out. So here is my little cup turner station. You can see this one has been used and abused. You can get these on Amazon. They are pretty inexpensive, maybe like $25. They are disassembled when they come, but they are super easy to put together. And they also come with a screwdriver and basically everything you need, so you don't actually need any tools to put it together. This that you will need are different sizes of the foam that go on it. So I definitely recommend finding a cup turner that comes with a couple different sizes. This is one that actually came with my other cup turner, so it's pretty good quality. Um, this was the one that came with this cup turner that I kind of shaved down to make it fit a little bit better. This is actually a pool noodle that I cut down. And then sometimes the size of this isn't quite the right fit, so I've actually taped together an Amazon envelope that slides on top of this just so it's a little bit thicker and sturdier to hold the bottle. So you can see that this actually fits pretty well onto the cup turner. I don't have my phone on a tripod, so I'm trying to do it while holding my phone with one hand and sliding the bottle on with the other. It isn't quite straight up and down, so this is why it's important to really make sure that the foam you're using is pretty sturdy. You may even need it to be a little bit longer than the rod for your cup turner. Um, or another option if you find that your bottle is dipping really close to your plastic, is you can also just prop the cup turner up a little bit with something and that really helps just to make sure that it's not going to hit the plastic and get stuck which has happened to me before okay so now i've got my resin mixed up and like i said if you'd like more specific directions on how to mix the resin and how to measure for that please check out my other video how to add resin to your hydro flask and you'll see I'm using my little finger glove because I, I like to use these because it's a little bit less wasteful than just using a rubber glove every time because you can't really reuse those. So all that I do after it's been mixed is I do like a line on the bottle and then I'm just simply going to spread it out using my finger glove all over the bottle and you want to do this kind of quickly that way it doesn't run down the sides that's actually where all this wasted resin comes from is me just not being quick enough 
And what I like to do is go around um, the top and the sides, and then I do the bottom last. That way I'm kind of just dragging any excess resin to the bottom rather than using it right up front. I've spread that resin out as much as I can, then I rotate the bottle. And then I just keep repeating those steps until the whole thing is coated. So I'll go down the side, really try to do the sides first, and then I go back and re-spread it all over to make sure everything is covered. Alrighty, so once you have resin all over the whole bottle, including the bottom, you're just going to leave your cup turner on for as long as it takes for your resin to cure. The thing that I like about countertop epoxy is it's dry to the touch within about seven hours, so you don't have to wait till the next day to add another layer if needed, which is awesome because other brands it takes about 12 hours. So it's not fully cured, it's usually fully cured in about 24 hours, just, you know, all the way through. That's about it. So make sure that whenever you do this, it's in a well-ventilated area, you're wearing your mask, and the biggest thing I forgot to mention is you want to put it on top of some plastic because resin won't stick to plastic, so you can actually just peel it right off and then reuse this. The good thing is it will protect your surfaces from getting resin on it. So I usually just use some trash bags. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. I hope that if this is one of your first videos watching how to add resin to a bottle, that you found it to be helpful. And if there's anything I missed, please feel free to comment with questions. I really try to reply to all questions in those comments and make sure that you like and subscribe. See you next time.